Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have two, yes, two big SBCs that are coming very soon to this game of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. To take a look at today, those two SBCs are the Ben Yedder Player of the Month and another Party Bag SBC, which includes future stars from team number two. So we're going to talk about both of those today, release dates, how much could they cost? How do we know that they're coming for sure? Talk about a little bit of a leak scenario with that Ben Yedder and also packs being added to the code in the sense of the party bags. And also just talk about how this market is catching on after rewards yesterday, after a lot of icon related content, two brand new icon SBCs with Prime Drogba and Mid Eto, along with two new icon upgrade SBCs in the Prime or Mid or Prime upgrade pack repeatable and also the mid icon player pick so we got not one but two icon upgrade packs yesterday along with the 81 plus player pick which i think is seen as not quite as good as last week's 80 plus times three but still maybe feasible so we'll talk about that today as well in the video how things are affecting the market and kind of what happened on the game yesterday with all of that. So if you're excited for another party bag or for a Ben Yedder, the rat player of the month, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Well, let's get into it and talk about this SBC that everybody's probably gonna wanna do for a new French striker in their teams. You know everybody right now is running with the League One links. We got the flashback Neymar. We've had so many SBCs out that are France, that are League One. And even though this is a player of the month, so this is not determined by EA Sports. This is on, on a vote. It's determined by the League One. This is Ben Yedder is the confirmed winner of the player of the month. Now, this SBC is probably not going to be out until Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's, it's probably not going to be today. I'd be very surprised if it was. Usually, player of the month is released a little bit later in the week, especially for League One. But in the next coming days, we will see this. Now, what we do know about this Ben Yedder is these are not confirmed stats, but these are pretty probable stats because when cards uh, are below 90 rated, their player of the months are usually a plus two overall boost. So Ben Yedder going from his 86 rated inform card, this is his last performance-based item. So he should get a plus two over this and become an 88 rated card. Now, I would love it if EA broke the rules and made him an 89 rated, but this is not a performance-based card. It's only a special uh, campaign or promo card. So I doubt that Ben Yedder is going to be 89, although I would have no complaints if he was. This SBC in this card, it's going to be at a very interesting price point, I think. I'm really curious to see how EA values this SBC when they do drop it. Because this signature signings Ben Yedder is like, what, 400,000 coins? He's dropped off the 300k, but he is so much more expensive than the 86 inform Ben Yedder, who is 60k. And it's not like he just dropped off a ton. He was 65k, and still now he's 60,000 coins, right? I really think that this inform, uh, if, this, if this 87 signature signings Ben Yedder was actually an inform, he would probably be like 150k. So I would imagine that this player of the month Ben Yedder it's probably not going to be like a 500,000 coin plus SBC unless EA are really looking at this signature signings version and going to overprice the SBC. I think this card is already overpriced for where he is and where we are at in this game, just to be honest. Even though it's a very meta card, very popular card, since it's a promo item and it's a lot more rare than like an inform or something like that, I just feel like they should price this SBC around like 250 to 350,000 coins. That's, I think, where it should be. That's where a lot of people would A, want to do it, and B, uh, I think it's pretty fair. So yes, I could see it being 400, 500,000 coins if EA want to overprice it a little bit. One thing that EA do with Player of the Months, since they're not 100%, you know, you know, like over that content, they don't decide the Player of the Month. So if they don't want a lot of people to do this SBC, even though they have to put it out because they have the, you know, the contract with the League Gun and all these other leagues to release their Player of the Months as SBCs in FIFA, um, you know, they can make this very expensive if they want to so that less people will do it, but it's Ben Yedder. So this time around, for FIFA purposes, a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this SBC and wanting to do this card. So I think anywhere between 250 and 400K is a pretty reasonable range, although it could be on the higher end of things if fodder does stay a little bit inflated as it kind of is right now. But again, this is an SBC that everybody would love to do because Ben Yedder, like he is, I mean, we've had some other French strikers in this game this year, but Ben Yedder is still, he is the rat, right? And he is known for being such a meta FIFA card and with the agility, with the balance, 
with the five-star weak foot that is so very important in this year's game. He's got four-star skills, high-low work rates, you know, 94 agility, 94 balance on this card. You would only imagine and that it would be higher on a new player of the month. I mean, this player of the month, Ben Yedder, would be an SBC that a lot of people would like to do for a French striker in their teams for the for at least a, for a pretty long time, right? This could be a card, a player of the month version could be a card that you put in your squad for a long time. And then a lot of people would like to use. So, you know, he's got the great traits as well. Outside foot, leadership, chip shot, team player, technical dribbler. It's just a great card overall, you know, right? Ben Yedder is just a FIFA guy. So there's going to be a lot of hype around that SBC. And, you know, we haven't really seen a lot of the French strikers drop as of yet. But just depending depending on the price of this Ben Yedder when it drops, you know, other cards like Anthony Martial or I think of Kingsley Coman both have Winter Wildcard versions. Um, these could be items. I don't even know how much Martial is these days after the market's just tanked so much. He's how much? 470,000 coins. And Coman, I think, is like right around 400,000 coins as well. I mean, these cards, you're going to have to keep an eye on them. Wow, Coman bounced back. He was like... He was down like 410k. He's down at 450. But, you know, you're going to have to keep an eye on some of these cards because uh, I think that they could drop if this Ben Yedder Player of the Month is priced correctly. And you might start to see people selling a few of these off as we head throughout, throughout the next days as this SBC is coming very soon. And, of course, French League One links are already up in price because of Neymar and because that's where EA is putting out a lot of content right now in this game. So that's a big SBC to talk about. Another one, and now this one's a little bit more official. Now, you know, we have a leak for Ben Yedder, but it's a Player of the Month leak, so that's pretty legit, right? Because Player of the Month, that's not like, you know, something that's up to a leaker to find out. That's like going to be posted by the League One, and that's legit. So that's, you know, a leak, but also confirmed. Something a little bit even more hardcore and confirmed is pack code, right? And we have another pack code to talk about. This SBC could come as early as today on Tuesday. Last week on Thursday, we had the first party bag, but even this week, we might have one today on Tuesday, maybe another on Thursday. Maybe they just drop one either today or Thursday. I feel like that's kind of our options with this SBC, but this is the pack code. Contains one player from Winter Wild Cards, Honorable Mentions, Future Stars Team 1, and 2. So it's basically the exact same SBC as last week, but it includes Future Stars team number two. Now, we all remember that last week, this SBC was incredibly cheap. 43,000 coins for this party bag that we thought might be 100,000 coins. And some people thought it was going to be even more expensive than that. And fodder was still kind of up last week as well. As you can see, uh, it was 50k at the start and then dropped into the weekend as fodder got cheaper. Now, I think that this party bag SBC is probably going to come out around as the same price. I would imagine that even though there's Future Stars Team 2 inside of it, maybe they make it like, you know, 10,000 coins more expensive. And I believe last time around, what was it? Like an 83 squad or an 84 squad with 70 chemistry is what it was. Maybe this time around they add an inform requirement or something like that to bump the price up like 10, 15,000 coins because they're adding in the squad of Future Stars 2. That's possible. But this is something that, again, they were so bad last week. If you guys remember, like so many people were packing Winter Wild cards uh, or honorable mention Bonucci or cards like that that weren't very you know, hype, but as a really, really cheap gamble SBC, everybody's going to go out and do this again. So just like we talked about last week for the cards that are a part of this team, if there is panic selling on any of those winter wild cards, or even some of the future stars um, that are at the mid tier, like maybe somebody like um, Kake Ray, right? A very hype card right now in this game with all the links that he has, 202,000 coins. Let's say this guy in the panic selling, he's still in packs, of course, but for this party bag, let's say he drops a, a bunch like right after it's released, he'll probably get packed a semi-decent amount because I see him packed pretty often from 85 times 10s, uh, but it's still a card that has a lot of demand and not everybody's going to pack him. So you would look for that kind of card to drop in panic selling, then rebound a little bit after that SBC would come out. Same thing, especially for your out of packs cards like the Winter Wild cards. The same thing that we went over last week probably going to happen again with another version of the party bag. Now, again, that is not guaranteed to happen today on Tuesday, but I think it's possible, right? I think if I remember correctly, the last two weeks, we have had gamble SBCs on Monday and Tuesday of each week. Uh, I think last week had like the 84 plus, and then I forget what we had on Tuesday uh, a week ago. 
but I would imagine that they would drop, you know, stuff when it gets added into the pack code, a lot of times it comes out the next day, specifically for packs. So that's kind of something to just keep an eye on and watch out for that SBC coming today. Of course, yesterday we had a lot of SBC content. Like we had seven new SBCs, which was pretty crazy. Um, the 81 player picks included. So I would think that maybe EA goes with a bit of a slower day of content today on Tuesday where they release a party bag or some sort of SBC like that. Um, and then that's kind of our content for the day. Really not sure, but that is my best guess for what might be happening today on Tuesday. So those are the two SBCs that are news, right? And again, that Ben Yedder is down. A lot of the other places on the market in terms of strikers really aren't down. I flipped three team of the group stage Ronaldo's today. Um, I bought all these for 1.2 and then one of them for 1.15 and uh, sold them for 1.3. He was just down a lot, right? As I talked about that Kingsley Coleman as well, there was still some panic selling on the market yesterday that did rebound back up. Uh, on that winter wild cards Coleman. I remember seeing him under 420K and now he's back up to 450, like 460 as we saw, right? So, oh, 423, 20K of tax is probably not really flippable, but I'll let Flipman catch that and see if anybody wants to undercut and then maybe we'll flip it. Um, or maybe I'll stay away because Ben Yedder player of the month. But speaking of the market right now and talking about yesterday's content, I feel like the, the biggest piece of content yesterday um, was again, the icon upgrade SBCs and the 81 plus player pick. Now this 81 plus player pick, yes, people are going to do it because it's still a player pick. And if you take a look on Footbin, it does have a decently high percentage of upvotes, but it does require five rares. And after last week's SBC was so great, the 80 plus player pick with three options instead of two required three rares. Um, and only like, what was it like seven or eight players? It was such a good SBC. This one seems to be a step back in terms of value, but it's still not terrible. So just kind of, you know, try a few of these, see if they work out for your account. They're not going to be as grindable as last week, but they'll still be doable, I guess. Uh, 6,000 coins a piece for one of these, basically five to 6K if you get some of them on bid. But uh, yeah, potential to pack, of course, some of the future stars items, the team of the week when it comes out. So not bad for fodder. Um, and then having the chance of packing a card from the promo team. But of the icon upgrades that were out yesterday too, you can see everybody was not very hyped for the mid icon player pick, even though it's a player pick and still a decent amount of people go and do it because it's an icon player pick and you get, you know, three options, 635,000 coins. I had a lot of people ask me yesterday, Nate, which one's better to do? I would point you towards the mid or prime pack because especially with lower rated squads required, and it's, you know, 400,000 coins instead of 600,000 coins for the player pick SBC. I thought this one was much better value because you can also uh, pack prime cards, right? You can pack primes, not just mids, but I understand people wanting to do the player picks as well. So, you know, if you were doing any of these, at least you probably have some untradeable fodder in the club from the 85 times 10, which was nice. And also we had two icon SBCs yesterday, player SBCs in Drogba and Eto, and both of these, Eto has a 54% uh, upvote rate, but in my opinion, this is an L. This SPC is again overpriced as they commonly have been this year with the Icon SPCs. This Eto card uh, last week was like 1.1 million coins before the market went crazy um, with all the stuff that has been going on the past two days with the Neymar, with the R9 leaks and stuff like that. So he was 1.1 million coins, which, you know, when EA maybe priced this SPC out a week ago before they released it, they're like, okay, we'll make it a million. And then boom, it'll be 100K less than what it is on the market. But again, this is what we see so often with icons this year is that they price the SBC so close to the going rate on the market. Um, and then the leaks come out that this SBC is coming or we have a market crash in general. And all of a sudden the card on the market is like way cheaper than what the car, the SBC price is. And you know, if you want this Eto, then just go buy them off the market for 880K. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of the thing. It's just not that great of value and it's a bit underwhelming, but I'm guess I'm not surprised because that's the way that it's been all year. Same thing with Drogba, right? 38% upvote. So even less for him, his SBC is 550,000 coins. His prime icon card is 400 K. Um, and he's been there, right? I mean, even before this was out, he was 500, 483,000 coins kind of in that range before the SBC came out. And now his SBC is, uh, you know, more than that. So that's just, again, underwhelming for both of those two cards. We also had a uh, Diogo Jota esports kit that was dropped at a really weird time. I didn't even see this until like halfway, like an hour and a half after content or something. 
it was dropped. So a lot of icon related SBCs, and this is one thing I wanna talk about as well, just for a bit in this video is, with all of this icon content, it feels like EA is getting you thinking about icons, right? They want you to think about icon SBCs. They want you to think about icon upgrade packs. Everybody wants to know when icon swaps is gonna be released probably pretty soon. It's that time frame again where we are nearing the next release for the new types of icons on this game. I feel like it's gonna be pretty soon here this week when we start to hear moments, icons, rumors. So just be very careful if you have especially some of these, you know, mid to high tier icon cards, I know they've already dropped down in price a lot, but I think of icons that are like over a million coins, maybe like a Puchkas mid, uh, maybe like, uh, you know, like this Maradona, maybe a version of Petite. That's not over a million coins. That's just the price there that's very high. But, you know, some of these icons that are above a million coins, the moments are going to come on the market, and I really think they're going to be pretty affordable than other years. Uh, just because that's how the market is this year, right? So I would be a little bit worried, not worried, but just um, aware, aware that that stuff is coming very, very soon. And if you have some of these cards tradable in your team, this might be one of, uh, not a last call, but you know, kind of like we're getting to almost that time where you're gonna see a lot of these prices uh, fall off even more as there's brand new icons out in the game that people will want to go and try, right? Wow, Fran Torres is 700K. I haven't looked at like top tier icons, in a hot minute. How much is Eusebio? 2.4? 2.1. So Eusebio is like 2.1 mil. I mean, but you know, when a when a moments card comes out, there's going to be a lot of other icons that have really cool boosts with dynamic images. And that's the cool thing about icon moments. We'll probably talk about that a little bit more uh, later on this week as we get closer to that. Um, but you know, icon moments are the coolest versions of icons that drop during the whole year. And they have those dynamic images. They have stats that change from year to year. And there's just a lot of hype with them. So just be, be careful. And that's just another little, I guess, warning you could say about that. But again, the main point I was trying to get to there is that it just feels like EA is really pushing a lot of people to get thinking about icons, right? And that gets you in that icon mode. And then that'd be a perfect time for them to drop icon moments into this game. So it's kind of been building up to that, but we are there again. Now, I want to talk about SBC fodder for a second. We just talked about new SBCs that are coming. Uh, yesterday, fodder, you know, moved up a little bit, but not really that much. 84s went up to about, you know, five to five and a half K. They were kind of the biggest movers yesterday. I bet if we take a look at the index 84, it climbed decently well. Yeah, it, it climbed pretty well yesterday with some of those SBCs that were released, like the mid prime pack, which most people I think did. Uh, that required an 84 and 284 or an 85 squad. Like some of that lower tier fodder was more in demand than the upper tier stuff. So your 84s, 85s are up, but then the rest of the fodder across the market is just up a little bit, right? You can see uh, the cheapest 87s on the market are actually all promo cards. Gonzalo Ramos, Tyler Adams, and Nunez, 24, 25K a piece. 88s are 33K. So if you bought fodder on the weekend, GGs, you're looking really good. Honestly, keep holding. Why, why not, right? There's not going to be a lot of supply unless EA drops something crazy, which we haven't seen them do in a long time, so you wouldn't really expect it. Um, you might as well keep holding this, right? If we do get a party bag, if we do get more player SBCs, uh, a Ben Yedder, right? For goodness sake, a Ben Yedder player of the month, that's another SBC with a lot of demand and a lot of potential hype that a lot of people would like to do. So that's just going to make this fodder stuff probably continue to rise a little bit more throughout this week as you do not have that much supply. So GG's if you did get in on fodder. Um, and also the market's been a really good place to trade. It really has. I know that so many things have been down. I made a lot of coins in the past two days. I bought Grab and Birch um, Sunday night, Monday morning, right around here for 700,000 coins, sold them for 770. He's even gone a little higher in the 780s. Uh, a lot of these future stars have fluctuated. Pedri, as we looked at last night in the video, I didn't win that bid, but he's up at like almost 1.95. Uh, Lacroix is up in price a decent amount. Verts has been fluctuating around. Ferran Torres moved. Um, I would be very careful with Tomiyasu center back because this is the same thing that happened with the right back version. The right back version was down and like 35K, I think at his lowest, 40, 35, 40,000 coins. He's now up to 52K. I'd be very careful with the center back version. It's 80K. And I think it just hasn't had a lot of supply yet since it was only in packs on Sunday. Uh, so I think this card's going to still drop off a decent amount more in the next coming days. Maybe as we have a party bag, right? A party bag would drop this card's price a lot because people would pack it a decent amount again from, um, you know, 
a team one or a team two ver version of Tomiyasu. So just be kind of careful about that. And same thing with like Elmas, who I packed for my 85 times 10, uh, or any of these lower tier cards that still feel like they might have lower to drop. Maybe Ibanya is 39K. He might go a little bit lower. Brian Hill, even though this card looks cracked, still could go a little bit lower. Uh, and then for the rest of the market in general, for like just trading purposes, you know, Neymar's gold is even lower, 155,000 coins, as so many people are going and doing the SBC. Ginola is 695k. Some of your League One cards, though, continue to rise. Chow many after the Ben Yedder um, leaks, actually went up. He was like 1.08. He kind of spiked to 1.175. Now he's down a little bit at 1.18, since that would be a perfect link to Ben Yedder. Uh, Ganduzi is 270. Uh, Neymar's other special cards rebounded back up from crazy lows that they were at. Uh, Mbappe is still chilling. Messi is still chilling. So a lot of stuff, you know, is still really, really low, but it does fluctuate, right? It does. Smith Rowe was like 500k flat. Now he's up to 540k. And like I mentioned with the Ronaldos that I was trading with, I also bought some Joao Felix uh, numbers up, which I think he's actually back down. And this is not probably helping that we have the Ben Yedder leak that is going on right now. But these really rare cards that are that you know, fluctuate a lot in the market. I mean, this guy was just 500K a minute ago. Um, and I bought two of these right around 500. But I'm, I'm not going to sell, right? Because I think he might go back up to like 530 or 540. I bought a Lucas Mora for 517,000 coins. And he was 550 for a hot second. And right now he's back down again, right? So could this card with only two pages to 550 go back up there? I think he absolutely could. Tuesday mornings are a decently high time on the market. Uh, although people will see the party bag code, maybe get a little bit scared for that. Um, and that caught, could cause maybe a little bit of panic selling this morning, but a 40,000, 50,000 coin party bag SBC isn't gonna break the market. So that's my thoughts on that. And EA finally added the foot versus fire and ice, literally, December 10th is when these cards came on the game and we just got the graphics in here for the search filter and the quality search here in the transfer market. It's crazy. They finally added that. So uh, happy Valentine's to you from EA Sports, I guess, is what that, that's the message that is per, um, perceived to me uh, on this game. So it might be an interesting day of Tuesday content, right? Party bag potential. But again, everybody's going to be looking forward to that Ben Yedder SBC um, coming later on this week probably Thursday. That's my guess for that. But Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday uh, for that SBC, the party bag, either today, probably, or, th or Thursday, one of those two. Other than that, we don't have a lot of, we have a lot of outstanding leaks that we might not end up seeing that we're still like, where's Bale? Where's R9? You know, all that stuff, um, you know, kind of waiting and just hoping also for some of that content to be dropped. So let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of yesterday's content. I feel like for some people, it was probably a bit lackluster. You know, not everybody wants to go spend 500,000 coins to do an Icon SBC right after they did a Neymar, which they're very excited about. So I feel like that's where a lot of people were in the game yesterday. Uh, 81 plus player picks are just okay. So yesterday just felt kind of like this, right? Hopefully today, a party bag would spice some things up. So we'll see if they drop that today on Tuesday. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.